Take it from the top. Black market is open today because we got a mother sale going on. It's a clearing sale on the black market. Everything must really go. Because we've been selling this shit on the black market because everything been going for the low. Hello, it's not Walmart. We the niggas there to meet you in the parking lot. Like what you need, shit, what we got. Hell yeah, it's all good, cause ain't none of it hot. I said, don't ever come to my spot talking about somebody got shot, cause they didn't. And we didn't even witness. We had to just go get it, cause we was really into fitness and boxing. That's what we talk about. Beating people up and knocking niggas out one more time. That's what we talk about. Beating people up. Knocking niggas out. Nah, nah, nah. We ain't even known that. We talking about the sport today, man. You feel me? Y'all had to throw a few bars in there, a few jabs and shit. Let them know that we, you know, we had to do a few punch-ups today. Yeah. You feel me? We taking it to another level today. You feel me? It's all about self-defense, stamina, energy, working out, being mentally ready. You know, just, just being ready for whatever life may throw at you. So, you know, we want to introduce some people to some people that we know that's in the world of, you know, that type of stuff like that. Feel me? Because, you know, I've been hanging out with J-O-N for a minute, and he just, he's real persistent about wearing all these weird colored pinks and shit. And we go all these different places, so we definitely got to get in the gym and start working on combinations and shit. I got you. Exactly. Welcome back. The black market is open. The black market is open. Yeah. You know what I got to get? You know what I got to get? I got to get a triangle like we opening up the stock market. That's good money. <laughs> black market is open. First of all, welcome to the trap. Welcome to the trap. Thank you know, this you, is thank a you. I like luxurious it. place of business. We got my man Mustafa in here with us today, man. Talk to me, man. How we doing? Doing wonderful, man. Just came from the gym. Word. Yeah. What's the gym? Oh, my gym. Mustafa's boss over there on, uh, on the east side. Glenwood Road. So you was in your gym. Yeah. He was like, hold up, let me go catch. I gotta go do this there. Oh, bet, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So what's going on, man? What made you come to the, to the uh, east side of Atlanta and open up a boxing gym? Uh, that's where they at. Yeah. That's where they at. When it come to boxing, I always wanted to have a gym where, um, in the hood, you know what I'm saying? The trench babies. That's where you can find the little youngsters who are mean. Yeah. Got something to prove, you know what I'm saying? And, um, probably ain't got nothing, so they gonna fight for something, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And uh, give them a way out instead of that, you know what I'm saying? The street All right. Line. What's up? How do you get introduced to the boxing game in my, my, general? My, hey, my family, for my grandfather fought, my pops, my uncle. I fought as a kid, so I always loved boxing. My, my first love. What do you mean you fought as a kid? I fought, I fought about 75 amateur fights. As a kid? As a boxer, yeah. What age? About eight to about 15, 16. Oh, okay. 75? Yeah, that ain't too much, but. Yeah. That's not a lot of fights for an amateur? Nah. Oh, okay. Seriously, that's. <laughs> like average. It's like four lifetimes of fights. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's yeah. up, man. Like, damn. So you just, how this been going through all the pandemic and all that, man? I know really? people starting to slowly move and go back outside. Yeah, yeah, man. well, you seen actually, it? through the pandemic, we, 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 we kept rolling. Word? Yeah, we train outside, we train everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my man Mac Cho, my best fighter, you know what I'm saying? So me and him, we follow Bro, I was just watching his clip. He's a problem. That nigga's a problem. Real problem. Mighty Jab gets his head off the line with a taller guy like Jaden Booth. That works out for oh! Booth. That works out for oh! Booth. That works out for Booth. Oh! oh, my God! Wow. Oh, wow. my God! Wow. Oh that was a devastating God! knockout God! by Dakari Scott. He's out! Fight it's is over! over. Fight is over!
Dakari Mack Truck Scott lives up to his name and KOs Jaden Booth in Whoa. the first round. He folded that dude up yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like it was, it was that's exactly. at that moment he realized this is not the right decision. It's over. It's over. So we trained the whole time through. You know what I'm How saying? long you been training Mack Truck? About three years. Yeah. So he came to you just raw straight nah, nah, he had a train train before that. Right. But uh sometimes it don't work out. So we came with me and then we just Connection instantly. I've been like them. But it was there already. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had it raw, what he had natural. Right. It's possible a little bit, showing a couple of things. More or less became like a father figure type thing. Okay. And that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? Being comfortable, being confident. And let, let, let it rip. That's what's up, man. He's your only fighter that y'all got in the camp right no, now? No, no, no. I got about. I'm loading him. I got about 20 fighters, man. Word? Yeah. That's what's up, man. So it's like Watch clearly out. that the you know your movement is catching on, yeah. and people are starting to hear more and more about it. So it's like, tell us about the movement that y'all got going on over there at the gym. The movement is how it got started and who's involved okay. and how you found these these talents and yeah, yeah, give me yeah. one of them cool ass stories where well, you I'm found some raw story. ass talent. Off so I got uh, I got three kids, fourth kid on the way. Okay, first of all, <laughs> no, this 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 how I started. Okay. I'm on number six now, but this, you know on number six. six? Okay, yeah. <laughs> so uh, you like making them kids, huh? Yeah, I love them. That, 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 that's me. That's what's up, you know man? What I'm saying so. Uh, money tight. I got a job. I'm trying to find a job. I go to the job interview. They ain't hire me. I got a background. Some felonies. You know what I'm saying? So I'm driving home. I don't want to go home with that pressure on me. I see a sign for a boxing gym. Like I said, boxing my first love. So I go in just to kind of like steam off my chest. And uh, just felt like, you know what I'm saying? This is where I belong anyway. Right. So I started grinding, started training. I never get a job since then. It's over. With. So I started at another gym, Grand Night City. It's in the Ellenwood. Hold Pretty on, hold gym. on, hold on. It's, it's clearly a lot happened right there. Well, the job interview, it didn't work out. I go to, I go to the gym, just to blow off steam, pretty much. Okay. When I get in there, it's like, it's perfect. I ain't going no more jobs no more. I can train really well. Okay. Tell my lady it's over with. Got good news and bad news. Bad news, ain't no job. Good news, I found a gym. Ain't no women. Like, what, gym? What the what, 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 Right, right. Oh, cause I'm like, baby, I do this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is what I do. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Four kids deep. Four kids deep. The pressure. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I this is what I do. I do this. 24-7. So you get in the gym and you start I, training I start, other start people? I'm, or training, what? I'm training, I'm getting them right, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. And my name kind of get a little buzz, I'm pretty good at it, you know what I'm saying? So my name getting a buzz, growing, growing, growing. And so it's like, uh, I already love, I've been in prison for nine years. So I already love getting with the youngsters, you know what I'm saying? And helping them not go that way anyway, you know what I'm saying? Talk to them, give them another way out. Mm -hmm. So it was like, I'm getting paid, do I love anyway? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Perfect, perfect timing. Mm. Just moved to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? So it was over with. Through that, I moved to gym on, on, on uh, Gresham Road. The gym closed down. Right. And so I started my own gym. It's small, but it's, in, it's perfect. It's perfect. I got um, probably right now the, the, the most popular gym in Atlanta. Everybody coming to Atlanta, they come to my gym. I've seen a lot of clips of people stopping through there, man. You got a few celebrity clients that come through. And yeah. Get in shape right quick. It's a real gym. Yeah. It's not, it's not a not a commercial gym, but ain't no um. It's real work boxing, going fitness. on. Fitness. No, we gonna, I don't care who you are. You gonna bust your ass. You know what I'm saying? You gonna grind and you gonna kick it. Like who, who's been some of your biggest teachers? Jesse been in there. Tank been in there. Tank my man been a couple yeah. times. Um, I was gonna ask you like your biggest influences as far as where you get your knowledge from uh, as far as the old school training. Old time. Old timers. Eddie Fudge, Manuel Stewart, the guys had the same mentality. Take these young raw guys who, who ain't got nothing but a probably bunch of anger in them. Right. You know what I'm saying? And just just polish them up a little bit and run it up. You ever seen that infamous Roger Mayweather clip where he was asking the boxing trivia? He's yeah. like, "What the fuck you just say? Yeah, yeah. You must don't know shit about, boxing. about boxing. That's the coldest clip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody got shirts but that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace to the legend. All time. Who are yeah. some of your favorite boxers? Uh, old timers. Archie Moore, Ezra Charles, Mayweather, James Tony, Mike McCallum, you know what I'm saying? Those yeah. type of guys. I used to like to watch Sugar Ray Robinson. Yeah. He'd whoop a motherfucker ass and still had a yeah, flap yeah. in the front. 
Yeah, I'm bad, man. Moving shit out the way. <laughs> Fire with it. Hey, Carlos Miller here. Look at you, sitting on the couch watching 85 South Show, hungry as hell. Open up the DoorDash app right now and order some food, because I'm about to put you up on something. It's called Dash Pass. It's from DoorDash. Like, Dash Pass is a membership that offers unlimited $0 delivery fees from thousands of restaurants, grocery stores, and convenience stores. With over 18,000 restaurants eligible for Dash Pass, you may even find a new favorite restaurant. So if you're ready to save some money on your DoorDash orders, use promo code Black Market for 50% off your first order. $12 or more. It's got to be more than 12. It's got to be at least 12. 12 or more. And you know, that's after you sign up for Dash Pass. It's 50% off your first order with Dash Pass. Up to $20 value if you use the promo code Black Market. That's all I'm saying. So say goodbye to delivery fees. Get Dash Pass from DoorDash today using promo code Black Market. Like Roy? Roy my man, that's my man. <laughs> yeah, Roy's nice with it too. Yeah, yeah. Good fight. Damn good fight. What's up, man? We're working with check out some more clips of Mack Truck and what's coming up in the camp? I got three guys fighting next week. Where at? In Atlanta, right there on our Buckhead Fight Club. Well, you should have been told us. We would have came yeah, up. We I would have. I've be been lit. looking for somewhere to wear my Frank Lucas mink yeah, coat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a Frank Lucas I mink. Got a, I, got a, I got a 147, six foot two. 19 years old, mean as hell. Um, yeah, mean and crunk as hell. I got another 19 year old, six foot, fight at 122. Another one, mean as hell. Now, they ain't even from Atlanta. Well, once we're team moving to be with, to be with, to be, to be with us. Right. And that's my goal, that we're going to build like a, um... What's the youngest age you're training right now? Five. Six. Five? Yeah, start them off young. Yeah. Groom, groom them through the years. You know what I'm saying? I want to make Atlanta a hub for boxing. Right now, it's not. Mm. But I believe, you know what I'm saying, all these... Imagine to the, the toughest kid from the south side, the west side, the east side. You know what I'm saying? The rock, the battling ones. Stay in trouble, stay in jail. They love to fight. They might, they might not be bad kids. It's aggressive, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you give them a way to, okay, you come be, be, be all that after school. You know what I'm saying? Be a beast, be, be all that when you come to the gym. Give them that alternative. I got a lot of them at my gym now, a bunch of them. And you can see them, you know what I'm saying? But their mothers and fathers probably really can't get to them because why my son like that? You know what I'm saying? He don't play serious. He fight all the time. But kind of got to give him something else to do. You know what I'm saying? So that's where my gym come in at. Come mm. here, you want to be hard? Be hard. Be hard in the gym. Go beat that kid up. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be easy. You think when, it you know, is. When you get out of there, you got to be respectful. You know what I'm saying? You go home and be good. But when you get in there, punish him. You mm. know what I'm saying? You still can be the alpha. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. But when you get out, talk to your mom or whatever. Yes, ma'am, no ma'am. Do what you got to do. What advice would you give somebody who may be watching this who has the same motivation, inspiration, but don't know how to follow through into what they want to do. You, Cause you told a story about how you were just looking for a job, saw what you wanted, yeah. went for it, made it happen. Yeah. It's kind of, that's real cut and dry. Sometimes people just need to be pushed a little bit more to, to actually take this step. What advice yeah. would you give them? Do what you love to do. You love it, do it. Make your own job. Make your own way, you know what I'm saying? Bro, that's, that's the whole point of this shit right here. Yeah, make, make your, own, your own job. That's what we should have called it. <laughs> For real. Make your own job, make your own way. Right now I'm up. Now it's gonna be boxers in the gym training. Make your own job, make your own yeah. job. Yeah. You want it, make your own job. Yeah. Me and Matt were just talking <laughs> back when, like, four years ago, we was, we was flat broke. Hey, man. Driving city to city, no insurance, nothing. I'm coming to the gym. I'm not coming to work out, though. Whatever you want to do, come. What, what's a boxing gym without an old nigga talking shit? My gym. I got a bunch of them in my gym. I'm coming. I got a bunch of them. Frenchie. You need a nigga boy. who gonna motivate you Don't and hold you it back. Everybody. Come on, come on. Hey, yeah. hey, you want to get it? You Come on, give it to me. 15 more, 15 more, 14, 13, 13, 13. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing. How old are you? Old enough to be in that gym got, talking shit to them 19 year old niggas. Right Huh? That was boxing knee right there. Exactly. Because that young boy thinking in his mind to be a man, he got to be a street nigga. Mm-mm. 
That's See the easiest saying? shit you can that, be. That, that, that's trash. Ignorant. You know what I'm saying? That's so I, easy. You, you, be, you can be cool, you can be solid, you can be thorough, and not sell dope, not gang bang. Exactly. You feel me? You can be straight up cool. You ain't got to be no idiot. You know what I'm saying? That's what they need right there. There's a lot of crash that. dummies out here. Bunch of them. And they doing all the wrong shit. Yeah. From a clown that tell them to do it. So that's why I'm saying like they, 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 they need that to see that. You know what I'm saying? I come. Man. Hey, hey, I'm in there. You should have been came fuck with me over there <laughs> on the black market. I yeah. didn't know. I met Chad, man. We've been just, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we been, Chad's a nice guy. That's my man. He like boxing, you know what I'm saying? We got, I like boxing, too. Gotta, but I ain't about to get in there throwing up blood and shit. <laughs> you ain't get me. I'm a handsome motherfucker. Nigga hit me. They didn't fuck the money I'm up. I'm trying to tell you. Nigga, you don't punch me! <laughs> punch him. <laughs> you punch that ugly motherfucker with the crooked ass nose. You don't be hitting you. on me. I'm handsome and beautiful. Cat got some questions. Yeah. I got one uh, because Errol Spence about to fight Pacquiao. Yeah. Who you got? I don't know. Wow. That's a hard one. Wow. I, Errol should win. Yeah. He should win. He should be the clear cut favorite. But man, the Pacquiao's a problem for anybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that was I don't know. Right. Gonna be good to see though. Gonna be exciting. Uh, sure. Last one, uh, what's your big name about the fight? Uh, Wilder and Fury? Yes, sir. <laughs> Why you ask that? <laughs> I want Wilder to win. Okay. I want Wilder to win. You know what I'm saying? Wilder from the South, black man, you know what I'm saying? They would have been. But, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Fury, Fury is better than Wilder. And that, Wilder. That, that, it is what it is. Fury is better than Wilder. But, uh, I want Wilder to win. Let me ask you this on some boxing shit. You ever notice when you watch a fight and they train for a long time and they always say, well, he had to lose such and such amount of weight to make weight. Why is it that the motherfucker who have to lose weight always get knocked the fuck out? Because he did his whole training camp trying to lose weight. He ain't fucking no skills. He come in the gym, he got to purely get the weight down. He ain't got time. By the time he gets to the skill part, he tired. He did a gym for four hour. Then been in the sauna for an hour. He he done. His whole camp is just lose weight. Mm. No skills. Then time fight time come. He's cold. He ain't working no skill. He just, he just think his side gonna win the fight. And that's bad. And he weak as well. That's right. Legs get weak. Mm. Yeah, that's why. I don't do that. I believe it. I don't do that. My best fighter, 5'10", about 250. That's Mac Truck. He fight Giants. Smash all of them. Yeah. Smash every last one. Because he can fight. You know what I'm saying? That's, the, that's how you know he good, because he, he don't fight. look yeah, like a fighter. Yeah, he do all that. He a bodybuilder. I yeah. thought the nigga was a singer when I first seen him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, all the new singers look just like yeah, this nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were man. I'm, the, I'm like Rod Wave and them niggas. Yeah. Did <laughs> you see that ball? <laughs> yeah, then the nigga show you the clip. You're like, ooh. That's this... that kid right there. Yeah, exactly. For sure, well, you for definitely sure. picked the right one, because, you know, if he keep that shit going like he got it, it might be the next mic or somebody That's coming through That's that. Better than Carlos Miller here. So you lied to your date saying that you can cook, huh? Well, don't panic. Our sponsors at HelloFresh got you covered. HelloFresh makes cooking so easy that everything you need to prepare a meal is right there in the box. I'm serious. Go look. They aren't America's number one meal kit for no reason. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items to choose from every week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, and gourmet options, providing plenty of variety. I look, I ordered the chicken, the chicken meal the other week, and it was good. It had some garlic potatoes and a little macaroni on the side. And we have a special promo for all our listeners. Go to HelloFresh.com slash black market and use the code black market 14 for up to 14 free meals and three gifts. One more time, this is for the people in the back. Go to HelloFresh slash Black Market 14 and use the code Black Market 14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. For real, that little chicken was hitting. Mike. What can they find you at and reach out to you about? You know, I'm maybe? on uh, IG, Mustafa's Boxing. Yeah. yeah. I go hard. You want to learn about boxing? You follow me. You want to get inspired about boxing and see these young guys do this thing? Follow me. Real boxing. Not uh, no offense, but not that you talking about. You know, uh, I don't call no names, but you know what I'm saying? Nah. All the other shit. Yeah, that trash. Oh, okay. 
That's my box. How to throw a jab, throw the right hand, throw the left hook. That's my everybody. Most of the most of the um them trench babies, they come to me. Oh. They can relate to me. They can see when it's when it's fake. You can't trick a youngster. You know what, I'm what what kind of advice are you giving the youngsters these days? Stay out of trouble. Stay in the gym. If you got if you in the gym, get you a job. That's right. it. Get you a little something or make your own job. But grind, and that's it. That's the philosophy right there, bro. Exactly. You got some time to play. You young. Make your own job. I'm grind. stuck right there. Yeah. Should we yeah. put that on something, bro? Man. Hey, man. <laughs> Let me know when you got them. When, when next camp start for Mac Truck, you. put that on the back of something. Hey, Mac you Truck, say, Mac? make your own job. Make your own job. You know what I'm saying? Don't get no job. Nah. It's a trap. You're going to feel better. You're going to be free. Exactly, because you know they figure out exactly how much money you need. Give you almost that amount. And that's it. And that's it. Cap you out. Whatever. Ain't it. Not top, five. top five is real boxing? Uh, Archie Moore. Um, Mayweather. James Tony. Ezra Charles. Ray Robinson. No. <laughs> That's a hard five you give me, though, man. You, you didn't give me 10. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I leave my man, though. He was a beast. He was more of a, um, he was a good fighter, but he was a better of a man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To where, you know what I'm saying? Everybody loved him because of what he stood right, what he re 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 represented. You ever watch Razor Reddick? Razor what? Yeah, he fought Tyson twice. Ooh, that boy, boy was Donovan, Don Donovan, was it Dominic? Donovan? Donovan Razor Reddick. Donovan, yeah, he's a bad boy. Bad boy. Beast. It hard as fuck. Right. Now. Oh yeah. Well, look, that, and that's that's what boxing missing. That's what it's missing. I think they're missing a lot of heavyweights. Because heavyweights play football and basketball now. Yeah, the heavyweights is what bring the eyes to the yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? Now you get, a, you get you get a kid that's a beast in Atlanta. Now he probably playing low league football. Yeah, nobody want to see all these split you know decision ass boxing matches. Put somebody out. Knock somebody out. You're right. That's that's Punish the real, isn't it? Beat him. You know what I'm saying? Whoop his ass. Get him out of here. doing all that shit at the press conference and then get to the, get to the fucking, get to the match. 13 rounds later, these motherfuckers over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him on out of there, man. All <laughs> the goddamn hug. Even the referee like, hey, 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 hey. Is you niggas trying to fuck? Damn right. <laughs> Fight, motherfucker. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Drop the social media one more time, Mustafa. Mustafa's let him know. Mustafa's boxing. I'm on Instagram, IG. Mustafa's boxing. Check this out, too, G. Don't let this be the last time I see you, bro. I, if you need me to come to that gym one Saturday morning early, come through. It don't matter what time niggas is showing up. If y'all coming at four, I need to be there at two thirty, so I can lie. be pissed off when y'all get there. I so it. I guess motherfuckers just gonna take all day to get to the gym. <laughs> we got work to do. Make your own job. <laughs> what are we doing first? We gotta sweep the whole goddamn gym first. <laughs> Motherfucker dirty, Mack truck. Ain't no, ain't no work. Hey, we don't start working five o'clock. We gotta clean the whole gym up. I got a better spot in my gym than you, than you see on TV. Real? Hands down. No question. The better work in my gym you see on TV. Pay for that. Come on. Be in there. What time I need to be there? What's up? You let me know. Now, what, tell me what time the 19 year old niggas coming. We spar anytime. We got a spar? They live in the gym. No, I'm not coming to do all that. I'm just saying, my boy live in the gym. I'm gonna have on a fresh on ass champion yeah. jogger suit, yeah. some fresh yeah. ass corsets. Motherfucker flat, I'm gonna have a dad hat on. No boy, stay ready. That's man. boxing shit. They stay ready. Towel around my neck. They stay ready. They not boxing me. No, they boxing each other. I'm coming to be. I'm coming. Come, to hey, come I'm Roger Mayweather when I come. That's what I want you to do. Don't, don't get my job to nobody else. I'm coming to grind. Once you, and when I come, stop the whole. For, hey, 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 hey. Come around, y'all. Hey. <laughs> That's my man right there. <laughs> they probably know you already. I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of y'all. But I know it's one thing that's been missing in this gym. Spirit. Uh-oh. So There you go, Mac. He with that foolishness. I, determination. Hey, look at me, Mac Truck. So I brought my man in here. He's going to be taking over. General manager. Uh -oh. You need anything. I'll let him. <laughs> that's all you got to do. <laughs> All right, first of all, I want to let everybody know I don't fuck around. <laughs> if you don't like what I'm doing, it's my job. Make your own job. Make your own goddamn job. 
<laughs> he on it. He like that statement. That's longer than Man. Make your own job, baby. You know what? Y'all ain't ready for me. Tell you, I'm gonna let the great come in a little bit more. Cause I don't need no niggas asking me how old I am. <laughs> That's the type of shit make me grab your bag and throw you out the gym. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, what the fuck I miss. Fuck you worry about how old I am. For you think they over there training worry about how old a motherfucker is? Stay focused. Oh shit. <laughs> you make it swung on. <laughs> I done threw all them nigga jogging pants out. Fuck out of here. He might get swung on. He might swing on. The more one them boys. Cat, no, I throw nigga shit. Fuck out. Bag open. All the shit done flew out. What the fuck is on the gym? Who this nigga is? He got strapped up. He done do much shit. Day of the fight, I'm sitting outside the arena. I don't even know if this nigga gonna show up. <laughs> I'm nervous as a motherfucker as soon as he pull up. About motherfucking time. You still mad about your little sweatpants? Yeah, man, let's go, man. Go go man. get wrapped up, man. Time Mac truck been here for two hours. There's some chicken in there. <laughs> I got a funny story for you, man. We in the Nationals, right? Mac truck want chicken. I won't give him nothing. Metro mad all night, pouting, calling his grandma, mom on the phone. Coach Trevor, swear to coach, please give me a goddamn chicken. That chicken, I'm not nigga out. I said, okay, get the chicken. Mad truck knock him out. <laughs> that nigga was so hungry, he made a promise. <laughs> I swear I'm not running out. I can't find He ain't need no pressure like that, bro. I'm gonna knock him out, give me that chicken. That's all they were thinking about in that moment. This motherfucker here. Yeah. I can't fight without it, baby. What? <laughs> so that's his go-to. Fried chicken. What's up, man? It's over with. So you make him wait the whole, wait yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to make weight. You know what I'm saying? After that? After that's go time. Eat and then go rumble. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, get the groove. Knock See, I'll be an out. asshole. See, that's why you need me over, because I'll be at the way in with the shit. <laughs> Oh, he ain't make it. I can throw all this goof ass shit in the guy's yeah, dick. Right. <laughs> Go straight up. <laughs> I got all kinds. Of, I got all the chickens. Zach, the KFC, Bojangles. Bojangles. Popeye, Bojangles. I got all oh, the little things. What? He ain't make what? That's right. I wish he would. Chicken sandwich, mayonnaise, everything. You better make that goddamn way. <laughs> what? That's the first, that's gonna be a first round knockout. Right there. You're mad as hell. That's what's up, man. Well, shit, the black market is open, man. I'm trying to get your boxing game together. Go holler at my man Mustafa over there, <laughs> Mustafa's boxing. 85 South Show, black market. We out of here. No doubt. That's right, that was good. Oh.